俺はお前に出会うために海に出た何を目指す最強は<笑>愚かな Ever since we met Zoro's character in One Piece and discovered his ambitions and dreams, it was very clear to us that his journey would be very difficult and complicated. Especially because, being the greatest swordsman in a world where there are several swordsman powers can be a task not very easy to complete, even more so when Zoro is simply humiliated by the greatest swordsman of all, Dracul Mihawk. However, we imagine that at some point Zoro will surpass Mihawk, in fact, This should be Zoro's final journey within the One Piece universe. However, many people believe that in addition to receiving the title of greatest swordsman in the world, Zoro must also receive the Yoru sword from Mihawk, which is one of the most powerful swords in the world. But what if it doesn't? What if Zoro rejects Mihawk's sword even if he tries to give it to Zoro? Could it be that unlike what happened in the fight against Ryuma, Zoro will not accept his greatest opponent's sword when he finally defeats him? Well, we are going to analyze all this in today's video. Hey hey my dear pirates, you are on channel, Straw Hats One Piece Theories. So if you want to be a pirate king like me and achieve eternal glory, go ahead and press the like button with all the power of your devil fruit, and if you're new here my dear pirate, already subscribe to the channel and don't forget to activate the notifications bell so you don't miss any new video, okay? Then join this crew that will dominate the entire Grand Line and the New World. Now without further ado let's get to this epic video. And well my dear pirate, after defeating his ancestor Ryuma, Zoro received his ancestor Shusui's sword, which is a grand grade sword. However, Zoro had to return it to the country of Wano, but as I said in a previous video, for me, The Shusui should be Zoro's rightfully since he is a descendant of Ryuma and maybe it was the last sword that Zoro would receive before defeating Mihawk. But anyway, Zoro returned Ryuma's sword to its place of origin and received in exchange Odin's sword which is very powerful too and is on the same level of power as Ryuma's sword. Because of this, many people, myself included, have come to believe that if Zoro is one day to become the greatest swordsman in the world, then he must be in possession of the most powerful sword in the world. But is this really necessary? Does Zoro really need Mihawk's sword or any other supreme grade sword to finally be regarded as the greatest swordsman in the world? Yes and no, it would be interesting to see Zoro using or receiving Mihawk's sword after defeating him, this would definitely confirm that Zoro has not only surpassed the best swordsman in the world, but he can also use a supreme grade sword. However, we have to see things from another angle, because if Zoro defeats Mihawk without a supreme grade sword and on top of that remains the greatest swordsman in the world without even having one of the most powerful swords in the world, that would be something very surprising. Also, well, think with me, imagine if you manage to become the greatest Formula 1 driver in the world even driving a car clearly inferior to the current champion's car? Can you imagine this scenario? That would be even greater proof that you are indeed the best at what you do. This also applies to Zoro as well. If he defeats Mihawk and beats him and still denies Mihawk's sword, that would be proof that Zoro is indeed the greatest swordsman in the world, even without having to use one of the best and most powerful swords in the world. But now I want to know your opinion about everything we commented here today. Do you think Zoro can really surpass Mihawk without having a superior grade sword? Doesn't Zoro need Yoru or any other supreme sword to be considered the greatest swordsman in the world? But of course, if you made it this far it's because you like the content, so it doesn't hurt to subscribe to our channel and become one more member of our fleet, my dear sailor. And of course, do not forget to press the like button that helps a lot in spreading the video and the channel, so help us to become the largest fleet of pirates here on YouTube, okay? A big hug for everyone, and until the next video.